So let's get started and let me show you what I did with bread dough. This recipe for making bread dough is a little bit different than making it with just for the flowers. For the flowers we use the bread, a slice of the white bread, and we use the tacky glue. This time we're going to add cornstarch, we're adding a little bit more cold cream, and we're also going to add um, lemon, lemon juice, just regular old lemon juice. So I've already put some bread in here, and I actually put my, my bread in the... Um, food processor. So I cut off my crust, put it in the food processor. I have two slices of bread and right now I have two tablespoons of the cornstarch. So now I'm going to add two teaspoons kind of guess on this, two teaspoons of the lemon juice. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of the Aleem's Easy Flow Tacky Glue. So we have one, and here comes two. And we're going to add a dab of cold cream. So in here right now, again, I have two slices of bread. I removed the crust. I put the two slices into a food processor there on the bottom. I have two tablespoons of the cornstarch. I have two teaspoons of lemon juice. And I have two tablespoons of the Aleem's Tacky Glue, the Easy Easy Flow. And just a dab of the cold cream. And now we're going to stir it. Just mix it. And until it all sticks together. And this dough I don't usually color. Um, I usually mix it, roll it out, and then we're, I'm going to show you how to use the cookie cutters for it. Now when it all sticks together like that, that's what you want, but you're going to have to, no matter what, you're going to have to go in and um, put your hands in. So I put a little bit of cold cream on my hands and then I bring it out when I have it all stuck together. Bring it out and just start working with it. And we got a little bit more dough in there. We want to get all that because it comes out perfectly. There we go. So now I just start mixing it. Let me see if I can get that extra. And just keep, and as you go along, it comes right off your hands. get all that so it's not too sticky of a dough because you want to get all that we measured into there. And you just knead it. And it's starting to come together. See how it's starting to become a really nice dough. So now at this point, if you get it all off your fingers, you're going to put it into a plastic bag because remember that this is a dough that dry, dry air dries. So we're going to put it in here, 
seal it off and I'm going to clean everything up and I'll be right back to show you how to roll it out. My dough is all mixed and I have wax paper. I have a little bit of um, like shower to shower like um, body powder. I, I like this because it has kind of a, a gliss, glittery kind of glistening. <laughs> it's hard to explain but uh, I like to put this on my on my dough. So I'm going to roll it out and I have uh, sticks on each side. You could use uh, popsicle sticks if you want. This happened to come with this roller and just roll it out so you get the same thickness. And then all you do is just start to use your letters and these um, alphabet letters are from Wilton. I have to roll out some more for the E, but I want to get these drying. So I just take this off and get these drying, and I'll be right back because I'm. It's really important to show you how I color them. I made these letters up last night so that they'd have time to dry. As you can see, they have a lot of shrinkage. This is how they started, and this is how they ended up. So you do need to let them dry thoroughly. So now I'm ready to paint, and as you can see, I'm just using my well-loved watercolors. It's just a very inexpensive um, box of watercolors, and um, it's just been used and used and used. So I'm going to put some blue on the edges. Now, if the watercolor is not sticking, up here in the corner I have a little bit of um, dish detergent and that if you dip your brush in the dish detergent that's my secret and bring it back into color it helps for it to stick and we're going to go all the way around the edge a little bit more water Get in all those little crevices so that the blue is just kind of, or the color that you use on the outside, I'm using blue, but that's what's going to make it kind of stand out. And up over the top. Now I do want a little bit of blue, like a wash over the front. I'm going to put a little bit on the front. And then I'm going to take a wipey and I'm going to wipe it off just to give it a little bit of color. And we're going to dry that off a little bit. And then we start doing some flowers. Now I'm taking my very fine brush and all you do is just little strokes to create some like daisies. And again if it won't stick you need a tiny bit more detergent. Put a little bud over here. Now we're going to put some leaves. And then our last little touch is we want some acrylic paint and the end of a toothpick, and we're going to put some little white blossoms. And there you have your 
bread dough letter made out of bread and glue, cornstarch, and lemon juice, and you put it on, make your own words, and put it on anything that you want. So easy, so much fun, you, you just have to try it.